Well, we are continuing our Valentine's themed special with some foods that can help boost your libido and get you in the mood for love. <laughs> the registered dietitian nutritionist Dawn Jackson Blattner joins us now with details. And the one thing I don't see up here is oysters. Yeah, <laughs> so I was ask you that. People think oysters automatically when they think about yes, boosting the libido. I know. And in fact, when I was thinking about my list, I was like, I better put them on there. But I said, no, actually, let's really talk about foods that are the same foods that boost overall heart health and circulation. So if you think about it, blood flow. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Blood right. flow. Uh -huh. So all of these foods are heart health, blood flow foods, but they also are very good for libido and sexual health. So no oysters here. No, no oysters, oysters, but no oysters still good here. Stuff and but I also want to ask too, because like you think about food and overall health, you have to eat it for a long period of time. Do you have to eat this for a long period of time to see those results? All right, so two answers Okay. Here. So the first one is if you eat these foods on Valentine's Day, they make you feel good. Yeah. Okay. I mean, these are light foods, they're yeah. energizing foods, mm -hmm. and I'll tell you how they all work. But, you know, you're gonna feel good that day. If you do it a long period of time, I mean, you're gonna feel great for a long time, right? Okay, so, good to know. yeah, the good the good idea is have them on Valentine's Day, but keep it up. Keep it right? up. Keep okay. it up. Keep it up. Let's start with the salmon. All right. Yep. So my first, I call these love foods. My love first love food. food is salmon. Now it's rich in omega-3 fats, and that's very much the Mediterranean diet. Mm -hmm. And there's actual research that shows that if you follow a Mediterranean diet full of fish, fruits, and vegetables, you do have better sexual health. Oh. So that is a good first there love. There you food. go. Okay. And it's pink to boot. So there, there you go. go. There there you go. <laughs> um, our second love food is spinach, or really could be any leafy greens. Could be kale, could be arugula. And spinach and these leafy greens have nitrates in them. When you eat them, this is the amazing thing that happens. Your blood vessels open about 30%. Oh. And so more oxygen. Vitamins and minerals can come rushing to your brain and all of your muscles all through your body. Ah. So this is really an important yeah. energizing circulatory food. Um, so definitely put that on oh, the menu. Good. No, put yeah. that on the yeah, menu. Absolutely. Uh, stir it up with some garlic. And yeah, or shred it so they don't see it. You can hide it. <laughs> there, the there you go. There you go. Now we have love food number three. This is tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now tomatoes have a compound called lycopene, mm -hmm. and lycopene keeps your blood vessels very like lazy and flowy and relaxed so that blood can really flow through them. Mm -hmm. And you get extra credit if you cook your tomatoes in olive oil because you get more of oh, that lycopene. lycopene. Oh, okay. yep. that's fantastic. Uh-huh. So, okay, so, so far doing pretty good, They're right? Yeah, 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 pretty good. So far. <laughs> now, let's talk about what you know is going to be yes. on my table. Uh, yes, so this is dark chocolate. So, dark chocolate in particular has more of this compound called PEA. Okay. Phenylethylamine. Okay. Which Okay. is a compound in your head that promotes passion Ooh. and boosts your mood. Mm -hmm. So when people talk about chocolate as being a mood boost and a mm -hmm. passion boost, indeed it is. So okay. what percentage of a cacao does that have to be? Uh, 70 plus. Okay. Got so, it. I mean, you could go to the store, find 85, 100. Yep. Those can be tricky. You know, 70, yeah. I still feel like is super tasty. Okay, okay. good. Um, and then berries. Look at how mm, pretty. Don't they just look are. like Valentine's yes. Day? Yes, yes I mean, they do. Um, so, berries have anthocyanins in them, and that is an anti inflammatory compound ah. to mm -hmm. keep all of your blood vessels healthy. So, you can see we have all of these foods are thinking about heart, blood flow, circulation, Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but they also could seem overly healthy to some oh, people. Yes. So if you're going to splurge, I like that you brought us an actual meal too. Right. So I said, okay, how are you going to take these things and make a real love meal out yes, of them, yes. right? Yes. So what I did here is I did a sheet pan meal that this is, I tossed pasta uh -huh. along with olive oil, tomatoes, spinach, mm -hmm. and I tossed it all, put it on my sheet pan, uh -huh. and then I put my salmon down on my sheet pan, and I put it in the oven about 400 degrees for 15 minutes, and it cooked at the same time, and it is a great meal that is, gives your pasta sure. with all of your good love food, too. and your salmon, yeah, beautiful, easy to eat. Can you top it off with some little cheese or something? Uh, or some yeah, a little Parmesan cheese, yeah, okay. and then you cannot be in Valentine's Day and not have dessert. dessert. Right, right. Yes. Come, right. On. come on. So I made that is dark chocolate avocado mousse. mousse. Uh, have you ever done that? I have no, actually. Oh, it's amazing. Yes, and I've done it for um, breads too, and it's really good. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. You take an avocado, puree it, cocoa powder, so dark, unsweetened cocoa powder in there, a little maple syrup, a little vanilla, buzz it in your blender, yeah. and it is decadent and delicious. And top it with and berries. And top it with your berries. Oh. So you got your chocolate and your berries there. And then I poured a little hibiscus tea in my cup because it's pink and cute, mm -hmm. and also good for heart health. Oh, so look at, look at that. that. I love that. Oh, Throw a little vodka yeah. in there to be perfect. 
<laughs> exactly. You can do it, Spike. You can do it, Spike. Water. Uh, that you is fantastic. Be, this is some great ideas here. But I think this reinforces when. Well, I shouldn't. Well, they say when you're having sex that you should really like breathe to get oxygen. the oxygen flowing. This is okay. And yes. this is where heart you're... health circulation, blood flow. This is what we're talking about. These are all of these foods, and to your point, is that eating them on the day actually will make you feel good, and then if you carry these on daily, oh, you, you will have long-term effects. So, so start feeding your husband the stuff tonight, right. and, and then you're my next week. Monday. Yeah, I like, because you started ahead, so, so we have a full planning. week to get those yes. in. Learn so. the love language, and then come Monday, bada bing, bada boom. There you Everybody's go. happy. There, there you go. go. <laughs> all right, so Thank, Thank you so, you so much. much. So fantastic.